Hello, hello. Um, this is my number six tutorial for Cinema 4D, and today I like to show you uh, Indigo Renderer. I'm using it now three days, and uh, I want to show you how you can get started uh, because some people have asked me if I can do something like that. And here we are. So this is now my second try because on my first try my microphone was not working. And uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, here we are on Instagram. So you can follow me on dead1971 underscore if you don't have already. And uh, from here on it gives a link where you can come to my Facebook page. And this is this one. And when you have some questions, please do that here over, not over my pro private profile. Um, yeah, so if you want to say have questions or say fuck you, you're, or you made a good job or whatever, so do that over my f uh, picture page. Please do not contact me over my private account. So uh, my private account I hold only with people I know in person. All right, uh, so we have this case done, and then we drop in, uh, jump in uh, cinema. Yes, like I said, I'm using it only three days and I will just show you how to get started and um, uh, I prepared here now a scene with a real texture map. Uh, this is an 8K map uh, for color channel, for, uh, for the uh, for reflection channel and for the displacement like for the bump channel. And um, so once you have uh, Indigo renderer install it uh, you choose out some materials you like to use and I have throw me now some glass materials that uh, our render engine gets something to do and that you see how fast this is so uh, I prepared now here a scene with the camera uh, with the camera attack and uh, I will show you now some things you have to uh, give a little bit attention so uh, you have installed it you go to your render settings, give it, uh, uh, go to Indigo Renderer and go here. Under the environment, you can, uh, you need to have something what gives a light. So it can be an image and, or it can be an object what you make uh, to a light. So in this case, today we make now our HDR. So uh, you can make uh, a material when you go here by create and new indigo material then you should it will show this here off uh, this is the default <coughs> you go to emission check that on go to spectrum type uh, choose from RGB you go to black body then you go to the emission map and choose out your uh, your HDR and then you check on emission scale and choose out the third one down under here so uh, then you bring a value from uh, between 6 and 10,000 where you can play with. Uh, once we have it in Indigo, we can change this values also in Indigo. So this will be no problem. So when you have this done, so you go to your environment and uh, choose a background uh, uh, in the light type and drop in your, um, your material here. So from here on, we can start directly in Cinema to render uh, render out our scene. But uh, once uh, it's rendering, uh, Indigo is a progressive renderer, so it will uh, show you the first image and render it always better. And it's it's continue rendering until you say it should stop. So um, it has no time limit or something like that. So it's rendering, 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 rendering. And so um, in Cinema Self, uh, you cannot, uh, when it's rendering, uh, make adjustments on your materials or uh, on some other stuff. So it's not possible. And uh, that's why we stop it now from here. I just want to show you how fast this is in cinema and in cinema, um, also uh, not in cinema, Indigo Self, it uses your graphic card and your processors. That's why it's so uh, 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 very fast. And um, 
you have here uh, under plugins uh, indigo and then you can uh, unduck uh, the window and uh, duck it somewhere so you have here five icons the one is for the info the indigo section plane is uh, very useful if you have a heavy scene you can use that as a wall you have to see that as a wall and uh, when you go to indigo and render it uh, let me go back to the camera so it renders only that what you see here so um, only that part or that part so uh, it's a very useful tool because indigo don't have to count the whole picture what you have there on geometry so it goes pretty fast mm. Then we have our convert materials. This is something uh, what they have done uh, to convert C4D materials into indigo materials, uh, but this is not working nice. So uh, don't do that. Uh, set up your materials uh, with indigo uh, manually. So uh, on the indigo uh, web page, they give some uh, tutorials how to do that. and. Um, you can uh, come inside when you watch them there. Import materials, it's like it says, it imports materials into your uh, timeline and here is render with indigo. Uh, this we do later. So on, the, uh, on your objects you can bring uh, uh, subdivision tags when it's in need. So I have here one for because I have here a lot of displacement going on and uh, it's something like uh, when you have a cinema material and you turn on displacement you have here uh, this sub poly displacement and you can choose out the your subdivision level it's something like that so uh, I have here on my plane I go with right click on it and give it a subdivision tag you can do that the same with lights and with your camera and with your camera I highly recommend to do that if you are close to photography, <coughs> you know what to do here. And if not, I will recommend you to watch uh, a tutorial about camera settings. And uh, this is uh, a really, really uh, important step uh, also for rendering. Uh, when you have a nice D DOF, uh, a depth of field, and uh, your camera f-stop is good and your uh, exposure duration is good so that you have uh, a good uh, chosen out numbers here from your blades and your curved uh, uh, radius so uh, but we are not going to do that now because uh, there gives it a lot of uh, stuff outside and uh, so we are jumping now and uh, turn this button on and uh, Indigo will start and uh, will import uh, uh, get now the whole scene the scene gets now builded you can see that here this is your status bar once this is done it will start automatically direct to render and um, like you can see here how fast this is this is even faster as in cinema so uh, we are here now on 10 seconds and I have now here uh, my HDR I don't want that because I want to show you how uh, nicely uh, caustics uh, it's also thrown al already here but uh, how much uh, it goes with uh, physical sky it goes much better so we go to the background settings and change this to physical sky and um, so I let that now by default. Uh, once we are uh, getting closer to the result, you see here a lot of white spots, some white flakes are uh, there. We're getting much more intensive. Uh, it's because our rendering mode is not on the right. So uh, we can change that to bidirectional with MLT. The whole scene will get new uh, loaded. So we wait a little while and then we go, uh, if you need alpha, you can click click this on so you get then your background alpha uh, rendered. We go now to the imaging and give this uh, kind uh, sampled, uh, super sampling factor more. So 
uh, Indigo uh, renderer they say on the page between three and four when you use glass and sun. So I I take it on four now. It will build again now uh, the scene, but everything what you do here on the right it will build again, and everything what you do now here on the left uh, it will not build again, but it will st restart the rendering. So like you can see here we have now much deeper caustics and uh, you have to see here the time. So uh, it's it's ridiculous how, how fast this is. So uh, I'm uh, also rendering with my network here so I have a little helper uh, by side. Um, but you will anyway recognize how fast it is on your machine. So. Uh, uh, what we can do now here so uh, you have now here your scene all your objects and your materials is uh, in one uh, field you can sort them here you have here only your objects uh, you click once more on it and here you have only your materials uh, to see uh, what we have here so we have here a diamond glass we have here a colored glass and we have here a milk glass so uh, what we can do on the milk glass is uh, we go to our, uh, I want to make an absorption layer to bring in a little bit color. Uh, let's make it pink. So see how fast this is. So uh, it's unbelievable. It's really, really fast. And uh, you can go on from here on and uh, uh, go to your camera make the camera settings uh, if I want to have for example uh, more blur so I can make the f-stop maybe to 10 so I get then a little bit more blur in the foreground and in the background and um, if I want to have lesser so I make a higher number 24 so then we get a very dense blur on the back and in the front. So and I choose here the middle one out as to be in focus. And uh, and so so longer you let that render, uh, so better it will of course go. And um, when you are satisfied with your rendering, so uh, you can save it as an image. You have here the options for uh, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, uh, EXR for After Effects post uh, editing. And um, uh, when you have longer scenes and you have to use your data machine for uh, five minutes or six, uh, half hour or whatever, you just uh, click on pause. Uh, and then uh, you can use your data machine and uh, just click on render and it continues. So uh, this is what I miss in cinema, really, because uh, sometimes uh, when you decide uh, to render your final, uh, you're rendering then one hour and it takes an hour longer and you need to do something on your uh, PC, but everything is lagging because uh, cinema is using all the cores and you cannot do anything. So this is a very good thing. So um, yeah, um, what you can do more here is upload materials. You can download also materials. Um, there's a online bank, uh, but not with so much materials. Uh, I don't know why. Um, it seems that not really much people are using Indigo. I don't understand why, because this uh, version I'm using, I'm using a uh, four point uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's really good, it's really good. And uh, it's uh, making very, very photorealistic uh, renderings. And I just can uh, recommend you to use that. So get warm to it. I'm. Uh, I need also my time to do that and to get learn it. So I will do maybe later on a next tutorial, how to make the shadings in the material self uh, by uh, by uh, uh, by Indigo. And uh, so we have to see. So more will follow on. So maybe you will see some more steps. Uh, my next tutorial when I do a daily render for you. 
all right so far on uh, don't forget if you have questions go to my Facebook page uh, uh, write me on the message uh, otherwise uh, add me on uh, Instagram or you can also follow me here on Facebook just hit the like button and don't forget uh, when you once you have uh, hit it like uh, you want to get notifications you have to turn that on and uh, Alright, so uh, have a good one and uh, bye bye.